Heat can make weird things happen with aldol reactions. For starters, aldol products can undergo a retro or reverse aldol if you heat them. This was the new single bond formed in the forward direction, so it's the bond that we need to break in the reverse direction. Push the electrons from oxygen to force the bond to break. We can push those electrons all the way out onto the other carbonyl, effectively creating an enolate again. Remember, the enolate has negative character on this carbon, so we can use it like a base. Push the electrons from the oxygen to form a new carbonyl. This forces the negatively charged carbon to attack this proton. And there we have it. We've broken the product into its starting materials. Heat also changes things in the forward direction. If we heat an aldol reaction with base, we can make a dehydrated product, or one that's lost water. The mechanism is very similar to what we covered previously, but briefly, the base deprotonates an acidic hydrogen to form an enolate, and the nucleophilic carbon in the enolate attacks the electrophilic carbon on another aldehyde. The oxygen anion that we form can then deprotonate water to make our usual aldol product. Don't forget though, these hydrogens are still acidic. The base will deprotonate one of those acidic hydrogens to form a new enolate. We just need to move this double bond over and eliminate hydroxide to make our final product. Push the oxygen electrons down to make a new carbonyl. This forces the pi electrons over to make the new double bond in our product. Finally, break the carbon-oxygen bond to eliminate hydroxide and give our dehydrated product. If you enjoyed this content and you'd like to learn about other mechanisms, then maybe leave a like and a comment with any suggestions. Until next time though, keep being your own curious self.